Hey y'all, it's wild in here, I know, but look. I've got some baby Quakers. A beast comes from a blue crossover female. There she is. Beautiful, beautiful bird. And the male is uh, blue and he is triple split. A crossover is just a trade name. It is an opaline pallid on a bluebird. He is split to opaline and pallid. Um, that may be all. There. There's a blue and turquoise pair. They don't have babies, but let's see. This green pair, they are the carbo loading, I say. They are going at it. I got a box full of babies over here. I think there are six in there. I'm going to leave them with the parents until sometime next week. I may take out uh, a couple of the oldest ones, you know, starting Monday or so. But they'll be in the nursery for the next video. And you see what's in there? I have no idea why the parents didn't make a better nest. I have no idea. I'm using the little plastic nesting cavities. Um, but these are two little zebra finches, and I absolutely will not be hand feeding these. That's just not a possibility. The parents are doing a bang up job. Here are the six green uh, baby Quakers. These are the Quaker parakeets, or the monk parrots, or uh, the gray breasted parakeet. Uh, in, in the pet trade, where they're just called Quakers. Everybody that knows pet birds knows what a Quaker is. Does that one have white down? That one may be an opaline. Opalines are born with white down. These others look like they have gray down. The, they, I just got them out of the nest today. It is Sunday. Uh, we were supposed to have extreme thunderstorms tonight. And the parents have not been sitting tight during the day. Uh, I don't know at night. I'm not able to monitor them. But because it's been so hot, they've not been in the nest box very much. And I was afraid that with the thunderstorms coming tonight that they may abandon the babies. And they were big enough. The biggest ones are big enough that I felt comfortable. The other nest of Quakers, the, uh, the blue ones, the two babies, I did leave them with the parents. So help me say a prayer for those. Let me show you some of the cockatiels. Okay. Now I've already fed these three little babies. These are a, uh, a new mutation that I'm going to be working with. They look just like white face to me and they may all very well be white face. Now believe it or not, a white face cockatiel is the blue mutation equivalent of a cockatiel. Like you have a blue mutation ring neck or a blue mutation Indian uh, or Indian ring neck or a blue mutation Quaker Perky. I said that twice, didn't I? Uh. Yeah. Or a blue mutation budgie. A blue mutation is just the absence of all yellow pigment. Well, a turquoise is a blue mutation that still has a very small amount of yellow pigment. And in cockatiels, there is a mutation that's called a cream face. And these guys, their mother was a cream face, which is a turquoise mutation. And I think that this one is going to be cream face. Now, y'all know I'm colorblind, so I can't see very well. But I think I see just a little bit of pale, buttery yellow coming in there. It's a, it's a, um, a beautiful little bird. Now, they are all white face or cream face. They are all gray pearls means the little polka dots and i got these from a very good very very trusted friend uh to help start me with this mutation and she said if none of these turn out to be cream face then i will get another baby from her so we will work towards that goal uh and again she runs a very clean closed aviary and I, a very very trusted source so I feel confident in having these birds here. She does disease testing just like I do and always has negative disease tests. I don't buy birds from people that have issues and problems in their aviary. But aren't they beautiful? This one, I know you're jumping at me. 
This one is a Fight Face Pearl Pied. At least carries the Pied mutation. You see those beautiful Fight Feathers? I think that's gorgeous. Well, let's go on to the next set of bigger cockatiels. This is a little gray Fight Face cockatiel that got plucked. She, uh, she's perfectly fine, perfectly healthy, but her, her feathers just haven't grown back in yet. I've already fed the babies, uh, it's just a bit much just so feeding them right now. Uh, but I do want to share the babies with you. I think she's beautiful. Gray Fight Face has always been some of my very favorites. Here, here there, yeah. You're kind of dirty, squeak, squeaky. Here, I don't know why I call her squeaky. She's a pretty little bird. And she's going to be a perfect pet for some of your toes. Kind of goofy. I've got to get her into a cage and get let her off. Uh, get fluffed up a bit. Okay. I haven't fed these yet. This is a normal gray male. He is still available. Let me just get there. They're starting to eat a little bit on their own. I've got a. Uh, I know my arms are getting in the way. Jeremiah's being the cameraman today. Hello. This is a um, a beautiful cinnamon white face, and she is still available. Would you like some food, darling? There you go. How about that? Uh oh. And let me get more food. The cinnamon pie. I'm going to keep this one. Here, would you like some yum yum? There we go. Cockatoos are the very best pet, little bird of all. Um, I, I love ringnecks. I will always have ringnecks, but I think cockatoos are by far better than. Even Quakers and green sheep, especially as your very first bird. Now they're not as playful or personable as a green chick or a Quaker, but they are just so much easier. Hey baby, don't flutter out of here. I can tell that she's wanting to, to fly out. She's already flown around a little bit. Um, we're going to put them back into a cage. I just have them into this tub right now just to feed them and show it on camera to try to contain it, so let's put them in the cage now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the Nande Conyer. He's a big guy. These are, they're bigger than Ringnecks or Quakers. They're bigger than Sun Conyers even. He has uh, got a beautiful black head and orange stockings, and they are, they are loud birds. I'm not going to lie to anybody about that. I will always tell the truth. Laura Keats are messy. Nandes are loud and cockatoos are just trouble. But there he is. He gets two full syringes full because he's a big old boy. I'm going to end the video right after this. I'm not going to show the ringnecks or the, the conyers. I don't know why. I just... I'll leave that for another video another day. Maybe... Maybe Wednesday. I don't know. Um... I'm just mixing things up, messing things up, not going on any kind of schedule here lately. You've had too much food. Did you see what I did? He just regurgitated some. Again, he's eating some on his own, so he obviously did not want two full syringes full of food. So I'll know next time. You only get one, buddy, okay? And then if you're still hungry, you're just going to have to eat some more pellets. Okay? Here. Step up. Step up here. Tell our friends bye. Say bye bye. Say God bless you. We love you. Bye bye. He's not saying anything. I know he's not saying anything. You say bye. Bye.